And hello there everyone, King Hedgehog here and welcome back to 7 Days to Die War of the Walkers. It is the morning of day number 6, which means we have uh, a day and a half to go before the net first Blood Moon Horde is actually up on us. Now, I uh, just came from down in the garage because I did a few things here overnight. One of them is I removed all the beds in the cupboards from here, so we have this space empty. Um, that I still have to take out, that is wood. And then I also want to take uh, pretty much most of the metal out here, out of the roof need to uh, open up this and properly close it off so we have a proper ceiling above our head but first things first um i want to go down and i want to have a look that we actually get all the stone that we need that is uh, going to be the number one priority for today so we can take off that last quest for the builder class now i am having a look because i don't have any repair kits do we have any other old base i'm not sure can I make them? Is it just as always? It is just a vanilla recipe, which is good. Um, duct tape I have here. I do have duct tape in here. I have some forged iron in here as well. Yeah, let's make ourselves uh, a couple of repair kits. There. And then let's go and dive into our basement. And I can show you where I've actually started digging. There. So I've cleared up all the rubble here so we can plug this hole as well. And then here I actually started going down where I have been taking most of the stone so far. So I've already got a thousand four hundred and something on us. Um, let me continue with the rest. And then once we reach the six thousand, I hope that we're going to get the next quest, which is going to be building our base. If not, at least we have the materials we need to build our base so we can be ready for the upcoming horde. so much for digging nice in peace and quiet i heard the first one snoring which means somebody is wandering around here and they actually heard us mining and i hear somebody beating on the door oi oh he is never gonna do that again gave us a level up as well now we are already at the 4300 small stones so we're not doing too bad and as you could see, I did spend a couple of the skill points we just gained um, just to get a little bit more harvest out of um, the mining that we were doing. But let me get up here and let me just continue the mining down here. And let's have a look that we finally get to the 6,000. All right. And there we go. Thank you very, very much. Of course, and now I need to gather 6,000 iron. Are you joking me? Um, which is not as easy as I thought it was going to be. No, that's wood. So for that, I'm just going to have to find an iron mine now, have I? All right. Now, I don't remember if there is going to be a quest linked to the resources that we just gathered or if it is gathering for the sake of gathering it. So let's just quickly drive around. Let's see if we can find ourselves uh, one of those beautiful iron ore nodes. Got coal right over here. Um, worst case scenario, I don't have any coin on me. Um, but in the worst case scenario, we could always go and have a quick peek at what the trader has for us. And of course, I get so easily distracted by the loot. Somebody has to be up here, right? Yes. All right, that was it. All right, working stiffies. Loads of tool parts. More tool and more food. All right, that was it. Anything in here? Not bad. And then here we have a campfire that we could use, but it's not as interesting to use it than um, you have your own now. Somebody used to be in here, right? Nope. All right, so that is mine. That is empty. Um, one of you guys did actually... Oh, I already murdered him. Suggested that I would add the mod that cleans up after you have looted garbage and the smaller loot containers. And I actually thought it was an absolutely brilliant idea. 
So that is usually not in the mod. I did add it in there. Like that. So now we don't have to do the cleaning up. All right. Structural brace mod. Let's learn that. And I also have still from the last episode. Stun repulsor mod. Now I will never make a stun baton. And I will never make the repulsor mod to go on there. But hey, I'm not the one to say that I'm not going to be learning something because knowledge is always good to have. All right, but so far, do not have. Yeah, same to you, buddy. Still don't have any iron ores that I saw. All right, let's go over here and let me drive the circle around. Hopefully we find what we're looking for. And there we go. Here we have a beautiful iron ore node. That is one I can work with. There's nobody around. Now, the danger, and I think in this mod it is no different from um, from vanilla, is with dreamers. They are extremely attracted to iron. Um, what is this about? Underground ore deposits. Oh, yeah, I already knew that. Kind of why I was looking for one. All right, so we need 6,000. It is 9 o'clock in the morning. I don't want to waste the entire day, so let's um, set our limit at, what is it, um, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And then by 2 o'clock in the afternoon, we'll find ourselves either a quest to go and do some looting, or we're just going to go and raid a place. Well, hello, Arlene. <laughs> well, bye, Arlene. Here we have another iron ore node. So this one's actually pretty good. We might actually mark that for ourselves. Here, right in between. Quick waypoint. No. Let's go for the save waypoint. And let's say here. Iron. All right. Now, we're also a little bit thirsty. Do we actually have anything left in our bicycle of course we don't now i do have some murky water i have some regular water something that we picked up somewhere along the line that at least could help us a little bit and since we have a couple more skill points let's get a little bit more here into mother load all three of them let's go for it Let's get uh, as much bang for our buck as we can get. So we spend the least amount of stamina and resources on getting the stuff that we need for this builder class. Alright, and this iron ore mine is actually interlinked with um, a lead mine, which is good because I do want to pick up a little bit of lead as well. Reason being, I started melting down some sand and some stone, the lead as well, whatever we had, which was only very, very little, and that I want to use to get ourselves some bulletproof glass so we can actually replace the windows in our base with proper windows. Alright, now this should be the last one. There we go, thank you very much. Now we need to craft ourselves a scrap iron hammer. Which I think we can do. Alright. But it is still locked. What do we have? What else do we need? We need plant fiber and wood. We have all that back at the base. Let's get a little bit more of the gravel. Which is good for stone and sand. Just need to make sure that it doesn't cave in on my head. Oh, and nitrate in here. So we have lead, we have nitrate. All we're missing here is coal and we have a full-fledged bullet mine. We might actually turn this into um, a big pit mine. 
If there's that many ores down here... Here, now I think that we got out of this place what we need. Can I jump out? Yes, I can. Thank you very much for... Um, parkour. Alright, now where's my bike? Bicycle, right here. Alright, let's head to base. Let's get what we need in order to craft ourselves that uh, scrap iron armor. Let's have a look that we get the builder class completed as much as possible. Which would definitely be in our benefit. Let's not uh, wake up anybody in there because that is way too much cop vomit for us to deal with at this stage. There's a lot of resources in that place and then I really want to have a look because we still need to pick a location for our horde base. Now I purposely want to do it quite a bit away from our base because we don't have the tools nor the resources to have them break down our base. Then again, I don't want to um, walk or drive a mile and a half just to get to the horde base. Alright, now I do have a couple of extra stone. I do, that is perfect. Um, not sure why I separated them. Recipes, campfire, yes please. Because we didn't put down a new campfire. We didn't build ourselves anything for a kitchen for that matter. Still need to open that up. It is pretty encumbered in here though. Alright, let's go and let's drink a little bit of yucca juice and let's get some uh, very good water going for us. There you go. So that solves that problem. Now I still have one large beef ration. I'll take you. I think you have recipes, right? Yes, you do. So we're not going to be eating you. And we will eat you so that is our food levels back up to where they should be. Perfect. Now, we have the lead. You can go in there and you can start melting down. And also the extra sand can go in there. And hopefully we can make ourselves some uh, bulletproof glass very soon. What are we lacking? Mostly lead. And, well, there's actually quite a bit of sand in there already. Some more stone. There. So, you start melting that part down. And there we go. We can already craft the first one, but... I'll wait off with that until we have a little bit more. Then... I think we're going to be taking down these bookcases. And at least for now, let's build our kitchen section right about here. That did sound like some people not too happy with us. Oi! Over here. Is that your girlfriend? Yeah? That is what you deserve for her. Alright. We went quiet. We went all nice and quiet. Very good. Back up to here. So let's put ourselves a little bit of a kitchen counter. And with that, we mean just one block. Um, I have a claw hammer on me. Here, now, campfire on top. Which also means I still have stuff at the other base, but... Cooking pot, yes please. Cooking grill, yes please. I mean, that doesn't take too much in the resources. I mean, four of those, they take three minutes and two seconds to make, so that's actually quite a long time. All right, you go in here as well as you. Let's bring this one back down and you back up there just before we forget. And let's actually take you. Can we make anything with you already? Rabbit on the stick, grilled red meat, more rabbits on the stick, boiled red meat. Mm, and everything else is still closed. Um, can we unlock anything with a skill point? Two chef is here. Well, master chef, whatever it is called. It's two chef and darkness falls, isn't it? All right. So now I should be able to make a little bit more. Here. That's better. All right. So red meat steel. What do we take? Is a corn, potatoes, water. Well, I don't need the corn for that. Mm -mm. 
anything we have on us that we can craft no nope. all right no problem no problem we'll just push all of you guys back in there as well as you anything else that can go why is there stone in here are you serious okay not sure why we had um, a lost stone in there but that's okay so there's no cooking that we need to do right now we are fully hydrated we're fully fed which is good we only have very little coin but let's bring that with us here let's um, put you back up to full lock you one higher and then let's get in here we get the plant fibers that we need and now we can make ourselves a scrap iron hammer which is going to take 40 seconds and while we wait for that let's go over here and let's knock you out and you oh there you go now i don't like the looks of it but it is better and it has a little bit more stability than that and at least we're protected from all the elements with that all right so that one is going to take way too long here we go two one thank you now we need to repair the scrap iron hammer all right all right now we can repair you repair no oh i didn't damage you yet And then I'll repair you. There you go. Craft a wood block frame. 50. Well, nearly 3,000. That's a little bit much. Um, I do need new ones anyways. And I can now scrap you. Or no, I think I'm still going to need you for something somewhere along the line. Although we still have another one in there, but that's okay. All right. So those are on the way. Let's get uh, this bad boy back down here and start upgrading the rest of this floor okay so now we need to place 50 frames we need to upgrade them and we need to upgrade the wooden blocks all right can do can do um so now we need to find ourselves the right place for our horde base anything that stands out here on the map anything that has a nice clean space technically here we have the buried supplies that we can pick up and then right there is where we have a nice clean area as well to build ourselves that horde base which is okay i mean it's on the other tire well it's in the middle of town center of town right here Mm, let's take this one. So let's get rid of. First of all, you. Thank you for the sham. Not that it is useful, but we'll take it nonetheless. All right. Let's get rid of the trees that are going to be in our way. And then we can start um, putting down the flooring and we'll make the floor out of the wood frames. So we'll dig them out a little bit and then we'll place down the wooden frames. And you are throwing way too much shadow. Okay, so I have an idea for a horde base. If it is going to work, I have absolutely no idea. Um, and I have an idea for a horde base also means I'm just going to start building and I'm going to wing it as we go. Because I can try to completely plan it ahead and draw it out. But last time that didn't work too well either. Still got my uh, butt handed to me royally. Right, so that is six. Okay. 
And that is seven. Yeah, that looks about uh, the same, the right width for what I need. Um, I think I'm going to need 20 more wood frames, so let's start crafting these. Quickly deal with uh, Mr. Farmer up here. I'm doing your job. Yes, I'm farming. Well, kind of. I'm digging in dirt. That is what you consider your job. Rightfully angry. All right, let's get this all cleaned up so it's not going to be in my way and the game deciding you know what you see that little stub of grass right there you see that little twig on the floor yeah you can't place a block down there all right that is better now let's get in um, we've got 70, so 10 that way. That is number one already. That's going to be a lot of digging I'm going to have to do. And then we didn't even go up in the air yet. Because, of course, we also need to go up. Just to make sure that we can control them as much as we can. Alright, let me get this uh, part cleaned out. And let me get the flooring laid down for you guys. And then once we are done with that, the rest of building, we will probably... Con continue with tomorrow. Um, that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So here, that is going to be the end. Yep. You know what? I'm going to put down this row and then uh, we call it a day for now and let's do some raiding. Maybe after we're done raiding, we might actually uh, do a little bit more building. One, two, and three. Perfect. Now let's get this place marked here on the map. Here, save waypoints. Um, port base. Perfect. Now, where's my bicycle? I dropped you somewhere right up here. And of course, this is the time where the game decides. You know what? It would be real, really funny if it starts raining. Um, let's start off with this quest. Let's get some digging done. Let's get whatever we have in here out of the ground. There you go, can I get out? Mm, yes, I can, kind of. What do we have in here? Nothing we didn't have yet. All right. How many of you? One, two, three, four. That's it. Couldn't do better than that. Here, you got a second chance. There was a glancing blow. Oh, all right. Well, I think that was it already. Oh, mushrooms. I always harvest mushrooms with a sledgehammer. Okay, so let's get a little bit of uh, topsoil crafted. And I think five should do. Now, I do that because I don't want to have that hole down there all the time where I can drop into it. Let's put you there. In there, in there. And in there. Look at that. Nice and close. Nobody ever noticed that it was there. And we're standing on top of a bicycle and looking for it. All right. Now let's have a peek because we have a tier one clear and we're driving straight ahead. This is the one. This is the one. All right. So let's go through this place. It's that murder who's ever is standing in front. There you go. If that's the best you can do. I am sorry for you, buddy. Um, we're not wearing any of those yet. Um, nope, the ones we have is better so we can scrap you. Thank you very much. We'll search the car. For very little, but that is okay. There we go. Let's get started. What do we have in the car now? Still the same. Nothing.
it down. All right, stupid dog, come in. Oh no, this is not the kind of dog I want. There you go, you stupid dogs. These are annoying. Now, I have my knife on me. Get off the trailers. Harvest him. There you go. Thank you very much. Of course, now I pick up a cooking grill from here. A little bit of glue. Nothing else interesting. All right. Oi, buddy, listen, don't pee me off. As you didn't notice, I'm not a big fan of it. Um, where are you coming from? Who gave you uh, permission to enter through the back door, lady? Oh, this is actually clear zombies. Well, let's wake up the world. Ah. Oi. He's awake. Uh, sorry, police officer. It was me. I am completely innocent. Anyone? My. Ah. Puddles the dog. Don't think we need Puddles the dog, but we're definitely still looking for toys. Plenty of toys, actually, we still need to find. I think this is actually the, um, one of the first toys that we're finding around here. All right, what do we have here? Some coffee, very much welcome. See, at least there's sophisticated people who lived here. A couple of skill points to spend. Aloe vera recipe, thank you very much. Um, some purified water. More water. All right. Now, I think there was something hidden behind here. Just a purse. Wow, was not empty for a change. Stupid flashlight. Of course, there's nothing behind there. Hello, buddy. You okay? You have been a reanimated corpse. I did send you back to the state of corpse, though. No, that's it. We're done in here. Okay, let's crawl through here. Uh, any stupid birds? Uh, the sledge I have at the moment is better. No stupid birds. None. That's the way I like them. Let's take you. And no stupid birds here either. All right, so now let me collect the polymers. Are you serious? I bang on metal a couple of times, you don't hear anything. Back in there. Down. And stay down, you crazy lady. Anything in the nightstand? No. Oh, yes, we were collecting pictures here. Okay, anything in the bookcase? <laughs> nice. All right. Not that I'm stealing, but I'm taking your TV. Yeah, we'll just take the entire bedroom apart. Nobody will notice. Alright, this is the main loot room. Oh, biomechanical wipe. Let's reload first in case we need to do a double shot. No need.
And we're done. Beautiful. Well, at least we got a little bit of raiding done today. What do we have in here? We find ourselves a pistol, which is better. Well, no, it is nice. It is a good thing to find. Technically, I think that Magnum is going to be better. Range damage plus 37. Magazine size a lot left, but effective range much higher. A couple of nuggets. Very nice to get. More shotgun shells. Nothing to uh, go bang with the shotgun with. Oh. On the other hand, we did find the thing that we can make them now. We can make ourselves an outer shotty. Let's have a look. Do we have the parts for it, actually? More shotgun shells. More bullets. Auto shotgun. Um, 30 steel. The rest we have. We need six shotgun parts, but it's only going to be a tier one. Not sure how many we have. I don't remember. All right, with this place done and dusted, um, what else do we have? Do we have any other quests around? Well, that's just a tier one fetch. Nah, let's go in here. Couple of painkillers in the school bus. Not sure what those kids were on. Well, painkillers, obviously. Doesn't specify what kind of painkillers. Pretty sure it's either um. Well. Okay, that's a nice piece of decoration we can take apart. We still don't have a working workbench now, do we? Would be nice if this one uh, here is working. At least we know where to find one in case we need one. Because we can't make ours yet. We can make a workbench. But we need the scrap iron wrench. That's what we were waiting for. Steel claw hammer. Alright. Didn't know that was a thing, but sure. Um, I heard a lot of stuff breaking. Oi! Mr. Cop Sheriff. That's not how you treat people. There. Lesson in humanity. That's where you came from. Anything else interesting up here? Nope. Okay. Anything in the cupboard? Just some sham. Laundry. Nothing in there. Nor in there. Purse with some coin, which is okay. All right. Oh, tier six blunderbuss. <laughs> oh, there we have another one with a helmet on. Nobody else around here? Nope. Just you. All right. Boy. He didn't even get a chance to get up. All right, luggage more. The game really wants me to have a shotgun. It keeps giving me shotgun shells. Not that, oh, what was that? Fish stew recipe. All right, thank you very much. I've learned that. The game keeps giving me shotgun shells. No, I don't remember. Did I test this? Yeah, I'm getting just parts. Yeah, so this is not a thing where we can pick up. A microwave. All right, let's take the fridge apart. They don't need it anymore. And I'm pretty sure that the parts are going to be useful to us at some point. Ooh. Again, a sheriff. Again, you get the same treatment, buddy. Until you learn how to behave yourself, I'm going to keep smacking you with a sledgehammer in the face.
cat food. Put some paper in there. Oh, that's why I'm getting slow. I'm encumbered. Very much encumbered. But again, this game, especially the um, War of the Walkers mod, is a dream for hoarders. Just scrap to paper. Um, all right, I'm gonna just read you. Mm -hmm. All right, now I can throw it out because I have no need for it. I have two cooking grills, so I don't really care for it. Um, let me keep all that. Um, empty water jars. Yes, the four broken glass can go. The one cotton can go. There's no real need for that. T-shirts that we can trap you. How about you? You have some dye. Let's grab you. Um, well, technically you're better than what we're wearing at the moment. So let's get the helmet light mod out of you. We wear you and we put the helmet light mod right back in there. We wear that and scrap you. Then we scrap you. And we clean you up. You can go. You can go. Look at that. Oh. I don't know what just ticked, but. Another range. Copy seed recipe. Thank you very much. Just going to scrap this one because I already have a stack of them somewhere along the line. Oh, and this is the final loot room. That is one. That is two. And that is three. Well, I'm definitely not complaining about this one. Weapons by... Oh, no. Scrap. I am not taking that on. I don't care. It can be a tier six. I can sell it for 3,000 coin. I don't care. Stun batons get scrapped. Another one of you. Okay, reinforced chest. Ooh, compound crossbow. I don't really have anything for silent range. I'm going to scrap you. Going to take everything else on me. Now, I think... I'm going to take out you. I'm going to put in you. And we'll switch you to the iron crossbow bolt. All right, let's take the picture, some ammo. Mm, that one was for scrapping, we said. We'll scrap you too, because I have no point in keeping you with us. Um, how else are we looking? Scrap you. You we now keep right about there. I have two tier six blunder boys. I can repair both of you. And now you are worth 520 coin. Oh my. All right, so that pretty much sounds like a deal to me. A little purse here with nothing in it. All right. Grab you and grab you. No, well, then I'll just throw you on the floor. Some more crossbow bolts. Very much appreciated because if we're going to be rolling with a comfy crossbow, might as well use it. All right, now it is close to nightfall. Where is the exit? Right here. All right, now we have our base. I think right about in this direction somewhere. Yes, we do. Is it right here? There we go. All right, so at least we laid the foundations. We got the next parts of our um, quest ticked off. Yeah, we have Nightfall. Right as we're rolling in, which is good. Now, that's the advantage. We are slowly starting to get some weaponry, and that makes it a lot nicer. So we're not that scared anymore overnight. Um, we need to make you... 
there that is one two and three so we can take those ones off what do we need for you um i need more glue do i have more glue i do perfect all right so also a point for you so we can also make that one then we need to make ourselves a baseball bat i have everything except for duct tape here but we can also make the baseball bat all right look at that we're actually uh, able to take off quite a few of the quests which is good baseball bat also you done now for these we need more duct tape duct tape duct tape duct tape um I have tons and tons of stuff on me and we have quite a few bones in here I don't have any more murky water do I well I do right in there all right so here we put you in here and then with the murky water or recipes and glue 23 you make 20 and we have somebody upset with whatever we do oh dude you freaked me out i murdered you with a stone axe because my sledgehammer was um up for repairs all right now let's go in here let's actually have a look the builder class we're doing not too bad we need to craft 10 grilled meat and 10 red meat covert class got the leather and 10 duct tapes all right so leather is on the way um leather is on the way no the glue is on the way so we can have the duct tape here that is this one and then let's grab the rest out of here that is two all right now i assume kill zombie farmers one out of five that is good craft a baseball bat that is on the way apple chef yeah we're nowhere close to that yet um marksman kill any animals no for that one yes we do need to get started with that one scholar place the mortar and pestle um i still have a wooden block somewhere right yes. all right so let's get you right next to him i'll have the hammer here here and you can go right on top um Who do you think you are? Soldier style. And all of a sudden I remember why we should not be dealing with them in the night. that was everybody around here war of the walkers well my ah as soon as it hits over tonight they're running just like everybody else but at least they're coming in groups which is kind of nice all right back to here cotton mums potatoes beans okay so that is basically starting farming right yeah all right survivalist duct tape Cloth fragments, bandages, aloe cream. Mechanic, craft a bicycle. Really? I already have a bicycle. Alright. What can I do in here?
Now don't do that again. Unbelievable, so rude. Okay, let me turn this off. Okay, guys, now that's going to be it for this episode. Oh my, I'm actually infected. And what is this? An abrasion. Bumps and bruises are the most common. Max health is lower. That is fine. Healing speed 100. Mm, my health stuff is in here. I have some honey. Honey, honey. So that is fixing my infection and abrasion. What is it? This one? Abrasion healing speed. All right, put that on there. There we go. Look at that. Nine minutes only that we can deal with. Okay, so that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, please do remember to hit that like button and I'll see you guys right back here for more Seven Days to Die, War of the Walkers. Day number seven. So we're going to be heading up for our first Blood Moon Horde. And we have zero ready of our Horde base. So that's going to have to do in the next one. And then uh, let's face down our first Blood Moon Horde. Now, it's been a long time since I did that here in War of the Walkers. So I have no idea what is coming for me. All I know is that we have uh, 24 max zombies alive, so let's see what's coming for us. Thank you for joining, and I'll see you in the next one.